Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video I explain to you how to install, configure and perform backup, and restore using a backup server, in Windows Server 2019. Backup is one of the important steps, that the server based must take to save folders and files, and also to save Windows against any danger that threatens the server. At first, install Windows Server Backup feature, which is the first step. Open Server Manager. Then, click on Add Roles and Features. Under Before You Begin, click Next. Under Select Installation Type, choose Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation and click Next. Then, under Select Destination Server, choose your server, and click Next. Then, under Select Server Roles, click Next. Then, under Select Features, select Windows Server Backup and Next. Then, under Confirm Installation Sections, click Install. Wait a few minutes for the Windows Server Backup feature to finish installing. After the installation is finished, click Close, and you are done successfully installing the Windows Server Backup feature. In the second step, I will show you how to configure and perform a backup by using Backup Once and Backup Schedule features. After opening Server Manager, click on Tools at the top right side of the window, and then click Windows Server Backup. After opening Windows Server Backup, Look on the right side at the top, you will find Actions, and under it there are three options. They are Backup Schedule, Backup Once, and Recovery. We'll talk about all of them. First we will select a Backup Once, it is a one-time backup process. Under Backup Options select Different Options, and click Choose Different Options if you have not created Scheduled Backup or to specify location or items for this backup that are different from the scheduled backup. Under Select Backup Configuration, you will find two options. The first is Full Server, to backup all server data, applications, and system state, and the second is Custom, which is to define specific folders and files. Whatever the choice, it is the same as the next steps in the two choices. I will choose custom because I want to keep a copy of specific files and folders. In this step he wants you to add specific items. Click on the add items button and select the folders you want when making the backup. After selecting the items, press the OK button. Then press the next button. Under Specify Destination Type, there are two options. The first is Local Drives, which is that you make the backup on the same local disk, but in another drive. And the second is Remote Shared Folder, which is that you backup to a shared folder in another device, on the same network. It is better to choose Remote Shared Folder because you are making a backup far from the server. But in the video I will choose Local Drives because it is available to me now. But if you choose Remote Shared Folder, write in the next step the path of the shared folder, and follow the steps. Decide what is right for you. Then click on the Next button. After that, under Select Backup Destination, select the drive where you will save the backup files and folders. Then press the Next button. In this step, it will show you the folders and files that were selected before the backup process, which is a confirmation step. Click on the Backup button, and it will immediately start the backup process. You may close this wizard and the backup operation will continue to run in the background. Because it may take a lot of time, depending on the size of the folders, or wait for it to finish. After that backup progress is completed, click on the Close button, and you will see that the backup process was completed successfully, the date of the backup, and some other information. Navigate to the location where you have stored your backup. You will see a new folder called, Windows Image Backup, which includes back data. After making sure that the backup was successful, 
I will explain the second option of the available backup types, which is the backup schedule. Open Windows Server Backup and then click on Backup Schedule in the top right. Under Getting Started, click Next. With the same previous steps, select the second option Custom, then press the Next button. Then, click on the Add Items button. Select the folders and files you want to back up. After selecting the folders you want, press the OK button. Then press the Next button. Under Specify when to backup, configure the schedule for when you want to backup and click Next. There are two configuration options, Backup once a day and more backups today. In our case, we will do a scheduled backup once per day at 8 o'clock. Then press the Next button, after you have finished specifying the hour at which the daily backup is taken. Under Specify Destination Type, Choose the place you want to store the backups, there are three options available, backup to a hard disk that is dedicated for backups, backup to a volume, and backup to a shared network folder. In our case, we will choose, backup to a volume, because the choice is now available. You can choose any of them if you have another place to store your backups. Then click on the add button, to choose the drive on which you will store the backup. Select the drive, then press the OK button, then the Next button. In the last step, click on the Finish button, to confirm the folders that will be backed up. It may take some time to finish the backup. Wait till you finish. After completion, you will be shown a message indicating that the backup process was completed successfully. Then press the Close button. The last steps are the recovery, or restore backed up data. It is also a very important step to safely restore backup files. Click Recover from Windows Server Backup. Under Getting Started, choose the location where you have stored your backup, and click Next. In our case, it is stored on this server, because I stored it on the same disk, but in different drive. Choose another location if I store on a network share. Select the date of a backup to use for recovery. Backups are available for dates shown in bold. Select Recovery Type, and click Next. There are five options available, I will choose Files and Folders. Select Items to Recover, and click Next. As an example, we will recover all files from the Dell. Then press the Next button, after selecting the folder you want to restore. Under Specify Recovery Options, select Recovery Options. I will choose another location. Then press the Browse button, and select the location you want to retrieve the folder. Then click on the Next button. Then click the Recovery button, and wait for the recovery process to finish. Once it is finished click Close. Then navigate to the location where you have recovered your files. Later, I will make a video explaining, how to make a full backup of the server, and in the event that you are unable to start Windows due to boot file problems, I will explain how to restore Windows. I hope the video is useful to you, thank you for watching, and I hope subscribe to my channel, thank you all.